Hey all welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren and today I'm going to do another vacuum sealer comparison. We got two chamber sealers that are aimed at the home user here. We got the brand new VacMaster VP200 and we're going to compare that to the Avid Armor chamber sealer that's been out oh, for about a year now. Uh, I've had this for a little while but they are aimed at the same type of consumer home use chamber sealer around the same cost but we're gonna check it out and see which one is better just check out the uh, different uh, functions of both I'll be right back Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter sous vide and chilling from fire and water All right guys, so we're gonna get started here. And first I just wanna kinda of show you more of a close up of these two uh, units together. Uh, as you can tell, they got a very similar footprint. The Abbott Armor Ultra though, is just a little bit, just a little bit smaller footprint than the uh, VP200 Backmaster. So as you can tell, that uh, I can measure them in a minute as well. I'll measure the interior and the exterior but I would say just from looking at them side by side the Avid Armor Ultra is just a little bit smaller probably fit on your your countertop just a little bit better and as you can tell the top of the VP200 does is kind of raised up here about three inches so it does have a little bit less clearance than your Avid Armor would because this is a pretty much a flat top um, we are going to measure the interior just to see what you would give up with the Avid Armor compared to the VacMaster. But just looking at them side by side, right next to each other, you can see that there is just a little bit of a smaller footprint on the Avid Armor compared to the VacMaster. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn both of these units on. First of all, the Avid Armor has a switch in the back, just like some of the other. Um, more expensive chamber sealers do. It does have that button in the back. The VP200 does not have one in the back and like we when I did the initial unboxing you just press and hold this button down until it pops on. One of the things you'll notice right off the bat when you compare these two just how loud the VP200 is compared to the Abbott Armor. I guess these are both oilless pumps, but now it just shut off. There's some kind of big fan that goes on on this one. Whereas when you turn this one on, it's quiet. There's nothing going on. So if you don't like noisy things in your kitchen, the VP200 is a little bit more noisy than the Avid Armor as far as when you turn it on. So this does have a fan that kicks on, makes a lot of noise as soon as you turn it on, even before you run it. So there's that. First of all, or second of all, get this one back going. You can see the LED is a little bit bigger on the uh, Avid Armor. They both have an analog pressure gauge. The pressure gauge on the uh, VP200 is a little bit bigger than the Avid Armor. But what you have on the Avid Armor, you can actually adjust the vacuum time uh, down to the second, where the Backmaster you only have three levels. You got low, medium, and high. And uh, for each level, it's just a longer, uh, for low, it's a shorter time. Medium, it's a medium time. And high is the highest, like 60 seconds for the vacuum. So that's the only adjustability on the vacuum you have on this one. That one, you can actually get it down to the second. So if you need to you know, vacuum something uh, you know, for 15 seconds or 22 seconds, you can adjust it for that. Now both of them do have the ability to adjust for the seal time pretty much the same. You just pick how many seconds you want it to seal. So they're both kind of a level planing field on that as far as that goes. The, they both do have a marinate button. Like I said in my other video, I don't use the marinate button for anything. But if that's something you use with your vacuum sealers, both of these have a marinate button on there. Um, they both have a manual seal button. 
so that if you're just sealing the bag, you don't need to use the vacuum, you don't want to have to get any air out of it, you can just put the bag in there and use the seal uh, function to seal it up. So they're uh, kind of even on that. So they do, this has a cancel button. This one here doesn't have a cancel button on it. I guess you could hit the stop button when it's in the middle of um, doing a vacuum, but um, it doesn't have a separate button for that. That's a start stop button and your power button, but this has a separate cancel button. So if it starts to go and you are, for some reason it spills or you need to stop it for some reason, you forgot something, you can hit the cancel button on the Avid Armor. On here, it's probably just hitting the stop button but um, it's all an all-in-one button, which I'm not really fond of that as far as that goes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to measure the interior and exteriors just so we can compare those two um, statistics on these and see what they are. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. I'm going to kind of move this, this just a little bit further up. Um, one of the things I'm going to show you, we want to measure front to back we're actually about 15 and a half inches from back to front front to back if you add in this little panel that does stick out about uh, half an inch so just say 16 inches all in is what you would need depth wise on your counter and we're going to go to the end of the outside here on the VP 200 you're right at 17 and a half inches. Uh, actually, we'll go to this lid. It's actually, yeah, it's right at um, 18 inches because there's a flange here. So you need at least 18 inches for it to sit flush on your counter. Um, so this is a little bit shorter that way. So that, that's a little bit better as far as for counter space wise. Let's go sideways. Just at 14 and a half actually right at 14 inches, 14 inches width-wise, and let's go here, and just a little over, about f almost 15, like 14 and three quarters. So they're about the same, maybe just a little bit uh, more wide on this one compared to the Avid Armor. So like I said, the footprint is just a little bit smaller on the Avid Armor than it is on the Factmaster. VP200. So as you can tell with this, um, it's flat. It actually sits right down on this gasket here to seal. So there's no automatic um, vacuum function when you close the lid. You have to manually start it, but it sits right down on this gasket. And I did find after about six months of use, I did have to kind of pull up on this gasket some. And it does come with a replacement lid gasket when you get it new so just so you know if you ever have to replace this you, you do get a free gasket included in in the sale when you when you buy it so um, after that you'll have to buy one but this will probably have, last you at least three or four years i would say uh, every once in a while you might have to just kind of pull it up because it might get shoved down into the um, seam but i haven't had any issues with it go ahead and measure what the um depth of this is from the bottom and I'm just going to measure it right up to the top of this to where the lid would be and it's right at four about four and a quarter four and a quarter inches in the deepest section here so about four and a quarter inches deep and then it kind of tapers up on both sides so I know you can get at least uh, 12 by 14 inch bags in here 12 by 15 inch bags because I've used those but both of these seals bars are 12 inches, so you're not losing anything on the seal bar on either one of these. So let's go back to this one. And like I said, you do have that um, on the lid here. It is kind of raised, so you do have a little bit of extra room when you raise it up. It does have a lot less, it's more tapered in the middle here, so you got kind of more of a, a valley in here. And it's in the deepest part. I'm gonna say it's right at about three and a half inches in the deepest part to where you get to the top of your um, uh, edge here. 
and it's really it's only about maybe four inches uh, of the well in here and the rest of it is really tapered up so I mean it's probably better for liquids because the liquids will kind of go down into that well and then I would say you probably got let's just say put my let's just put this out there straight kind of it goes about two and a half inches about two and a half inches into the lid so you're probably talking right at about five inches interior space from the deepest part to the top and then as I said you, you don't have a whole lot of room of that so probably average is about four and a half so I would say you probably got about the same amount of room as far as um, uh, interior space on either one of these hey, you may be giving up half an inch quarter of an inch one way or the other but to me, uh, it, they're actually about the same, just because of the way this uh, well goes down deep, you know, in here, and it's it's tapered a lot more than the other one, than the Avid Armor. So, all right, well, I'll be right back, and we'll do some other testing on it. And see, see which one might be for you. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I want to point out a couple other um, little minor things, just differences that you may notice on either one of these. The VP200, the lid is plexiglass. It's very thick, uh, probably over an inch um, plexiglass. Has these um, aluminum hinges. The only thing I don't like about these hinges is they're these are actually loose on mine. Um, so and there's no way to tighten them unless you take the unit apart. And the screws are kind of go up and in, inside. So there's no way for me to tighten these. But um, the lid is fairly heavy because it is super thick plexiglass and there's more of it because of that um, indentation here on the top also on the Avid Armor this is actual glass ballistic glass that um, bulletproof glass and it's only about a quarter of an inch thick and it is heavy but it's not quite as heavy as this one but it the seal is it goes all the way um, there's what I found with the 200 for me when I did my unboxing you'll see that for some reason when I put the lid down here these back corners kind of lift up like it's not the the um, gasket doesn't quite fit on here all around so there's like little um, spaces here in the back so I, I usually have to hold this down for it to catch the vacuum um, I have never had to do that with this I said occasionally you might want to stretch out this gasket if it's not catching just because it gets pushed down but um, the hinge on here is built in there's no adjustment needed it doesn't matter um, it just works like I said I've had this for over a year now I haven't had zero issues with it the other point is this actually shuts off after about um, two minutes if it's just sitting here you're not using it it will automatically shut off and you can hear that the fans not running anymore so that shut itself off this one will stay on until you shut it off and you got that button in the back all right and um, that's just another couple things so we're going to go ahead and test out the vacuum and how it sounds on each one of these right now so that you can see how they operate and how they sound I'll be right back alright guys I turned this back on and like I said you can hear that fan just the humming these are both oilless pumps so I don't know why that needs such a big noisy fan to cool that pump down when the Avid Armor has a similar pump and it doesn't have a fan like that blowing it might have it when it turns on to vacuum but it doesn't now so I'm gonna go ahead they both have little um, gizmos here to help keep your bag open so that you can get all the air out so it kinda you just kinda slide the bottom part under and put the top part over this little gizmo here to help open the um, 
and it shut off again. Look at that. To help keep your bag open so that it can express all the air out of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. They both will take the same size bag, so there's no benefit to that. I'm going to do this one on medium. I'm going to go ahead, just so you can hear it, I'm going to put my microphone down here. And as you can tell, I had to give that a little push because it wasn't getting a vacuum. So there you have it. Um, it got all the air out. I think it did a good job. Smaller bag. The seal, though, is kind of thin. Um, it's a decent seal. It went all the way through. It's just not very wide compared to some of the other sealers. And you'll see in a minute how the Abbott Armor does. So just take a look at that. Just see how wide that is. And I'll let, compare it to the other one. But it did its job. I did have to hold it down just a little bit, like I said, because these two corners, for some reason, they uh, just don't quite get the seal. And I have to just, just a little bit. Um, it might be something with that gasket I'm going to have to um, play around with. Same bag, same type of fruit. All right, so let's do the Avid Armor now. And like I said, this has a, a similar function here. It's got a little piece of plastic that will hold the bag open and then it has this little metal piece that will hold the bag down against the uh, the plastic. And we'll hit vacuum seal. Did a good job, sealed it up, and as you can tell, this does actually have a little bit wider seal here. It's actually got a double seal, so I don't know if that's going to be a big deal or not compared to the two, but um, it does have a little bit more of a, a seal profile than the VP200. Um, the sound is just a little bit less than that, of course. Uh, I don't know. I know they're both, like I said, they're both oilless pumps, and they tend to have a, a little bit more noisy operation. All right, I'll, I'm going to actually show you how to adjust the uh, vacuum pressure, or the vacuum time here on here. Pretty much, you hold the set button down till uh, whatever one he, uh, starts flashing. So you can. This is for your seal time, and this is for your vacuum time, and you want to. You can adjust it here. This will go up to. ninety nine seconds but you should never need it for that long um, I average when I'm doing something um, that's small you know right at about 55 something like this because what you're doing when you're adjusting the vacuum um, it's it's just going to take longer to, to get all the air out of this chamber some of the bigger chamber sealers will actually come with spacers that will take up a lot of the internal space so it's removing less air 
these two units don't have that so you can put um, like a small cutting board or something to, to hold uh, if you're doing something real small to take up some of the space in here and then set it for a shorter vacuum time or you can just set it for a longer time which just means it's running the pump a little bit longer and it kind of give you an idea since this is a, such a small item and we're not uh, you know filling up the extra space in there with anything else it's uh, pretty much just going to try to remove as all the air so the longer the pump runs the more air it's going to remove the tighter vacuum you're going to get If you're running it for a shorter period of time, you're going to find that your um, pressure gauge probably won't go all the way to the end because it might not, it's not going to remove all, uh, all the air out of the uh, chamber just because it's not running the pump for long enough. But it's good if you're doing breads or uh, very uh, fragile items that you want to actually seal, but you don't want a super, super tight seal. That's, and this, since this is an apple, it's really hard. I don't care how tight it gets because it's not going to crush it. As you can see, our pressure is pretty much gone. It's pegged out the uh, needle, sealed it, cooled it down. Time to take it out. And there you go, complete, super, super tight seal. And with the Avid Armor, like I said, you got a double seal on there. So it's um, not going to come apart. So there you have it, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up here and go through just a few more things. The Avid Armor does come with a backup seal bar, and it does come with a backup uh, seal for the lid. Uh, the VAC the VP200 doesn't come with either of those, but the Avid Armor does not have an accessory port for your canisters. The VP200 does come with that, so there's a little give and take there. I think the value of the seal and the seal bar are a little bit more than having the accessory option because I have an accessory option on my uh, channel vacuum cleaner uh, uh, sealer that I have. The Avid Armor does have a little bit smaller footprint. The lid is a lot lighter, so the overall weight of the unit is less than the VP200. But the VP200, since the lid is bigger, a little bit taller, you can fit some bigger mason jars if you actually use it for that. So there are some benefits as far as the uh, chamber size for the VP200. The VP200 has that noisy fan. I don't know why. They're both oilless pumps. So having that um, noisy fan on there doesn't really make sense. The, uh, like I said, the lid on the Avid Armor is lighter and it's a little bit less um, you know, height to it, so it'll fit on your counter a little bit better. The LED display on the Avid Armor is a little bit better with the adjustability of the vacuum top as well. So that's it guys. You just gotta kinda pick a, what you like about each one of these. They're both great units. All right guys. Well. Take a look at them below. I got links to both of these products on Amazon or on the Avid Armor website if they don't have any available on Amazon right now. Supply on all these are going to be kind of low because of what's going on with COVID and the supply chains. Check them both out. They're both decent chamber sealers. The only thing, like I said, I've had other people that told me they bought these and didn't have the issue that I had. And I've had another person that said he bought one that had another issue as far as it wasn't pulling a good seal, uh, but the gasket was good. So I don't know. I think with any type of um, entry level appliance like this, you're going to have a bad one every once in a while. Um, this one, like I said, it works. It's just you got to kind of put a little pressure on it. And it might, if I play around with that gasket, it might, you know, work itself out. I have no issues with this one whatsoever. And literally, um i've had it for over a year and not had one issue with it so thanks for watching guys check them both out in the, in the description down below make sure you like subscribe share follow the fire and water cooking channel follow the fire and water cooking facebook page facebook group 
Instagram. Check us out on the Fire and Water Cooking Podcast. I've had some really great guests on there. I've got Kenji Lopez Alt, um, Meathead Goldwyn, Steve Reichlin, a lot of different uh, sous vide chefs and professionals. Check it out, and I'll see you on the next Fire and Water Cooking video. Mm-hmm.